Hey YouTube, this is Carrie Scrapping for a Dart. Well, I didn't think I'd be doing another video today, but uh, on the way back from the scrapyard, um, I saw a house, and in his driveway, he had this stove and uh, a couple other items. So um, I went to the door, and he wasn't home. And across the street, there was a neighbor that was out, and I went and asked him. I said, "Is the stuff free out there?" And he said, "Oh yeah, the guy's been trying to get rid of it for like a week." So. Um, I made another contact because I gave one of my business cards to him too, by the way. But the guy that lived in the house where the stove was is actually a contractor. So he's going to be getting a lot of stuff like this. And when he does home remodeling, now he's going to call me. So again, another contract, another word of mouth. This is awesome. This stove, I know it's going to be dark here. There's actually some stainless on it. And over here are the burners. Um, the heating elements, I'm not sure exactly what they're made of, but they're not magnetic. So um, I'm going to call my scrapyard and see how they buy those. And also there was some cast iron. These pieces here are very heavy. This is probably 10 pounds. There's two of those. The biggest score I got was this uh, sink. I think it's porcelain over um, cast iron. This thing doesn't look like it, but this thing weighs about 60, 70 pounds. I mean, Literally, I mean, I struggle to lift it up in there. So uh, my yard pays 10 cents a pound for stuff like this. Um, so when you ever find stuff like this or like bathtubs that have the porcelain over the top, um, they're well worth taking because you can make a lot of money that way. So anyway, this goes to show that uh, you always want to keep your eyes out. And I know a lot of you other scrappers that do videos, um, you constantly find stuff like this. And uh, in my area, I'm not sure if it's even legal to take stuff off a curb um, unless, you know, you get permission. So that's something I'd have to look into. But again, um, just word of mouth, I'm getting so much stuff anyway. Um, it's just really paying off. So I thought I was gonna be working on computers today, but I'm gonna be breaking down that stove. Um, the, the plug on this thing is kind of like a washer and dryer cord, the real big, heavy duty brass prongs. And I already pulled off this sink, um, the brass components. There's a little bit of brass left in there. This was painted, so I just used a file. I don't know if you can see the the brass color on the file or not but underneath there is brass and then this is brass that's stainless and then this is actually brass if you can see the color there and I cut into it too and you can see that it's brass so maybe a pound or so of brass not much but um, overall it's well worth it and I'll be taking this in on Monday after work my scrapyard is like not even half a mile from where I work so it's not out of my way at all so I'll just take this stuff in and I'll probably get as many of my computer um, computers broke down as I can this week that way I have a nice full load. So anyway, hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe. Take care.